the question is, how do we know or have a good idea when the market is trending? To answer this question, we're going to look at several different time frames. Now, the time frames that we're going to look at are the daily, the four-hour, and the one-hour. These three time frames put together will provide us with what I call the overlap. Overlap is when we have multiple tools at the same or nearly the same price. This overlap will then cause us to see the market's zones. These zones come in support and resistance. These support and resistance zones are where we key in to identify trading opportunities. That way we don't have to sit in front of the screen for hours on end waiting for a setup and a trading opportunity. So let's start with our trending trade checklist. When we're looking for the overlap, the place we want to start first is the daily. The first thing we're going to do is look for the daily trend. The daily trend is easily identified with the three moving averages on the screen. Now, if you remember, the top moving average, or the red one, is 32 bars. The green, or middle moving average, is 64. And then the blue, or the bottom moving average, is 200. Whenever we have the moving averages stacked, 32, 64, 200, this is an uptrend. Let's move back in time. Now you can see that they've been reversed. Here's the 32, here's the 64, and there's the 200. So now when we have the 32, the 64, and the 200 stacked in this fashion, you know that you have a downtrend. Anytime you see the, the moving averages 32 and 64 crossing in and out of each other like this, where you see it crossing and again and again and again and again, this is the section that I call the weave. Now, the weave is an important part of the marketplace, and it tells us that the market is getting ready to make a big move. The trouble is, on a daily time frame, you have to wait, in some cases, over a year for the weave to happen. In fact, if you look here on the British pound, the market here in October of 2004 was moving up, and it wasn't until April of 2005 that you could have realized that the market was truly in a weave type of pattern. So if all you did was wait for the weave on the daily time frame, you'd find yourself going quite a few months, in some cases years, between trades. That's why we use multiple time frames. Now when you go to a different time frame, for example the four hour bar, the one thing that you have to realize is that we look for trends in the same way. You can see here that the 32 moving average is on top of the 64, which is on top of the 200. So we have an uptrend. 